have absolutely no business to be eating no goddamn boring breakfast. And that is why I'm here to save the day and put you on. If you are new to the channel, I'm Miss Mandy, the Throwdown Queen. Yes, I crowned myself. And right over here, we cook up some stuff, we travel a little bit, and we do a lot of more stuff. However, I know you're here for the breakfast recipe, so let us get into it. We're gonna be whipping up some eggs and some tomato sauce. In the other parts of the world, they call it shashushka. Here, we're just gonna call it eggs and tomato sauce. Let's get into it. All my ingredients are laid out. We're gonna be using some onion, which I've already diced up. This is about half an onion. We have three tomatoes that I have blended. I have three cloves of garlic, because you already know we never have too much garlic. We have pretty much some uh, ginger in here, which is like half a thumb. And we also have some thyme and some uh, cilantro, which is dania. We're gonna be using majorly the stems, because that's where most of the flavor is. And we're gonna be adding in a hint of one of my favorite things, paprika. Yep. Of course, not forgetting salt and not forgetting the eggs. So let's ha head on over to the stove and start whipping up this bad boy. Ah. We're getting our pan nice and hot. Now, a lot of you have been asking me, where do I buy my pan? Please tell me, tell me, tell us. Girl, you ain't telling us. I leave it in the comment section. Girl, girl, tell us, tell us. I tell you, I tell you all the time. Anyway, I bought uh, my nonstick pans from a certain store that closed down. However, I buy a certain brand of pans. It's called Tefal. It is a worldwide, globally known brand. You can find it in any leading supermarkets. I trust it, I swear by it, and that is what I'm using today. I've used it in a ton of my episodes. So I hope that answers one of your questions. As of right now, um, we've gotten our pan nice and hot. The good thing about these pans is that in the middle, it tells you when it's ready. It like goes from like pale to really dark. We're gonna be adding in about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. If you do not have olive oil, please use vegetable oil. Guys, like, substitution is a thing, you know? We are cooking our onions until they're nice and soft so we can start building on the layers. The best part about this meal, every action happens in one pot. It doesn't have, happen to happen in two different pots, just one. Our onions are nice and soft. We're gonna be adding in some paprika. And I'm gonna be adding in our coriander, or rather our cilantro stems into here. I'm just gonna start with a small pinch of salt. And then you gotta remember all the stages you add salt in. That's something that's very important that you need to be very in tune with. Next up, we're gonna be adding in our ginger and garlic paste. We're only cooking out the paste until you can like smell it in the air, which is about 20 to 30 seconds. We're gonna add in our tomatoes. I'm just adding in a little bit of water into where the tomatoes were. I'm also adding in half a tablespoon of tomato paste. Now at this point, I am cooking everything on low heat, uh, medium low heat rather, in order for everything to just marry together. I'm just gonna taste and adjust the sauce. I'm just gonna go in with like another small pinch of salt. Now, of course, if you wanted more saucier, you can add more paste, a little bit more water, and just build on a thicker sauce. So that's what we're gonna do. However, if you're just cooking like for one, you can just play with the sauce, crack your eggs, which I'm gonna show you. However, right now, we're just gonna build a little bit more on the sauce. I'm gonna add in another like, little tiny tablespoon of tomato paste. and the rest of my water. 
I pretty much used half a cup of water, but I added the water in stages. My heat is completely on low. And I'm just gonna taste. Major reason why I'm tasting again is because tomato paste is very acidic. And um, if you can just know when you've added it in, if it hasn't cooked out, it will still taste as acidic. And then you will either need to add more salt or maybe accompany it with like a little bit more spice, but just keep that in the back of your mind. I'm gonna take my sprigs of thyme and just like get those in there. So I've used one and a half sprigs. Now the trick here is you just kinda wanna create a little bit of space, crack your egg in a bowl so you can see if it's still good and then you're just gonna pour it in. Now we're cooking the eggs on low heat in order for them to really form a base. Now there's two kinds of people. There's people who like their eggs still runny, sunny side up. The trick is you just gotta let it just cook until it's settled and then you can be able to take it out. Then there's other people who like their egg all the way cooked through and I'm gonna be showing you guys how we're gonna cook the egg yolk all the way through so it's not runny. In my quest of not having salt on my eggs, I'm just gonna be sprinkling just a little bit on the egg white and the egg yolk, just a pinch. Because we already know the sauce has, you know, flavor. Now that the base has somewhat formed, you can tell this other side, it hasn't really formed. We're just gonna cover it so that the egg yolks and the egg white can cook as well. It's been three minutes, turned off the heat. The eggs were cooking on low heat, like low heat, guys. If you cooked this on high heat, everything just won't cook well like you want it to. You kind of just need to give it a little bit of patience. We're gonna sprinkle in the rest of our cilantro, dania, and pretty much just serve since it's ready. And just like that, we're done. This is like one of those meals that takes less than 20 minutes if you include prep, it's about 10 minutes. So 30 minutes, you have something delicious to eat. And of course, you can pair this up with sweet potatoes, sweet potato fries, some chapo on the side, chapo ya usiku, you know, or if you want some normal potatoes as well. But this is just one of those meals that will help you hit your fitness goals. It's delicious, it's flavorful, needs only like pretty much one spice, two herbs. That's literally just it. And if you're curious on how to use paprika um, in other different ways, I've made so many recipes which I will link down below with using paprika so you don't think I've just bought one spice for one thing, right? It's time for me to dig in. I just wanted to do this for you guys. You know when that smoke gets out? Yeah. <laughs> it's time for me to dig in with my crew who's behind me and they're hungry and they're ready to eat. But as I get ready to dig in, I want to say thank you so much for the consistent love. And would you guys like to see three different ways on how to make eggs? Let me know down below. If you're curious about any other breakfast recipes, ideas, leave them down below. Your girl knows how to use the flick of the head wrist. Yeah, to whip it up. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share, keep it to yourself, whatever you choose. Just make sure you throw it down.